every time you avoid what scares you, your brain rewards you. That rush of relief, that's dopamine, not peace. So let's talk about why comfort feels so good and cost you your calling. This episode is brought to you by my HarperCollins published book, Mind Over Explicit Matter. Learn how artificial stimulation miswires your brain and what you can do to rewire it back to purpose, intimacy, and connection. Go to drtrishley.com backslash book. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, cognitive neuroscientist, and this is my sacred neuroscience take on the mountain is you. In the last episode, we saw how fear hijacks your brain's alarm system and it convinces you that staying stuck is safe. Today, we'll reveal the chemistry that locks that pattern in place, the dopamine illusion. Because avoidance doesn't just numb your pain, it feeds your reward system. When you put off the hard thing, the email, the workout, the difficult conversation, your brain releases a small burst of dopamine. That chemical says, good job, you just escaped danger. Avoidance feels rewarding because your brain mistakes relief for success. The ventral striatum, your brain's reward hub, lights up the same way it would if you actually achieved something meaningful. That's why procrastination, scrolling, or even daydreaming can feel so satisfying momentarily. But here's the catch. The next time discomfort shows up, your brain remembers the shortcut. It fires dopamine before you avoid, training you to run faster and faster away from growth. I used to think restlessness was laziness, but when I looked at my brain map, the reward circuit was hyperactive, even when I was doing nothing. My brain had learned that not doing equaled safety. It wasn't a motivation problem. It was a miswired reward system. Dopamine spikes not from reward itself, but from expectation. When your brain predicts comfort, the couch, the scroll, the snack, it fires early. That's why habits are so sticky. That chemical rush comes before the action. To break the illusion, you don't fight the dopamine, you redirect it. You teach your brain that the real reward is regulation, not avoidance. It's like retraining a dog that's learned to sit for treats, only now the treat is calm. In sacred neuroscience, dopamine isn't the enemy. It's energy waiting for direction. Avoidance uses that energy to escape. Intention uses it to evolve. When you stay present with discomfort, your nervous system learns something truly profound. Pain can coexist with peace. This is sacred regulation, the chemical transmutation of fear into flow. Every moment you face what you used to flee, dopamine now rewires itself to celebrate truth instead of relief. Avoidance feels safe because it's predictable, but predictability isn't peace. It's a cage. Your brain's not addicted to comfort. It's actually addicted to certainty. And the only way out is to build a new certainty, one rooted in calm courage. When I stopped chasing relief and started embracing discomfort, my dopamine loop changed. My brain still wanted reward. I think it always will. It just started rewarding the right things. In the next episode, we'll climb together learning how to regulate fear into focus and transform survival chemistry into sacred flow. Click the video that's coming on the screen now so we can move on to growth together. 
because that's what supernormal living is truly about.